Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Oh, oh, dear lady, what do they call you? And when oh. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, well, good Leanne. I, 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 oh, 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 oh. Back of shite. Do you hear me? It's a back of bloody shite. It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Fiend. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, Have you any worries? idleness, over. idiocy. And a Not a sunbeam of difference between here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. We're taking a wide view. We're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye, Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch? Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch? Keep your cannons, Court. Piss off, man! Something I can assist with?
Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count at 40. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoiled. Flegan. Irish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Say Zornagold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillar. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Blast. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come by. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold and this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best course for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. If we found the observatory, We'd see enough money to buy the whole of England. Or it might be we'd lord over these kings and emperors like they was passing for themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for or yourself? I mean the best for these men, Ade. I do. But this don't sit well. I feel like I'm running errands, not living my life. Cruise up! Eat her six!
Ade, see that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing into hell! Thatch is overwhelmed. I'm going ashore. You stirred up a nest in front of Thatch. In service of a noble cause! Medicines, I hope you mean. Aye! A galley is nearby! And if we crack these lobsters quick, we might catch up to her! Show your book learning! Prepare you for a scuffle of this sort, Mr. Bonnet! Not in the least, For certain, there's more to be learned by doing than reading! Remember that! Hang in there, Bonnet! Keep your arms up! has reappeared! Heads up! Back to my ship! Quick as you please! She'll not slip away now! Oh, this is too much! I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is clear! But for now, I need a helmsman! Call it out! Loose the mains! And head straight for that bloody ship! What have our medicine? Little time at all! I'm seeing the devil you promised, Thatch. Uh, I'd have shown up my angel if they'd taken quarter. But well, there's no going back now. So round that bastard with all the wind you've got. Sun-dried, just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middling take. 
But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Bonnet? Flying your own flag at last? Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good morrow to you! Are you not lost? No! Are you not wanted by your wives, and families, and countrymen? How else to explain your government's complete Disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for sense. These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicine, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Come off the wind, son. Be careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Catch the wind. There's another watchtower. Furl all sails. Use the means. Keep her at half sail, Captain. This beetle do us no favors here.
careful with the banks. Luce cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! The wind, sir. Good and the life agreeable. I've never seen it done that way. I can't fathom how that I've got into any tree. But she's a right lass, I don't doubt it. So it's too sure a supply of See them over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean. Not stopping by it. Clue if up. we run aground here, we may never get out. Long to say. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. Use the mains. Earl all sails. Let's get moving. Trim to catch the wind. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back. With the medicines. Aye, sir. Be thankful this ship remains anchored. It hasn't torn apart into the art of Charlestown. Bloody power. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunting down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's done that? Two old gators come for their supper. Either the old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We we'll talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. <laughs> Just blocking that dead too. Got a man train. Dirty puddle won't do. One would suppose all this was for gold. Old rum at least. Nothing but medicine to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessel. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. Thank you. 
No. Quiet night. Right till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Almost there. Good. Captain Wyatt is not a patient man. Hold you. Hello. Is that radar yonder? The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. You know how. Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town. And I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! I'll have I yet. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Too great. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself Captain. Another year. How will me again, lad? In this world, or the one below? You? Do you have a minute? I'm 
on my way upstairs. IDJ wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbird was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. I'm Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Should me long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Now I'll update your communicator. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. You 
can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right. Either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the terror. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. That's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. They know what they're doing. <laughs> 